from World of Concrete 2018. With me now is Dan Swigum, who represents Associated Training Services. Dan, welcome aboard. Thank Pleasure you, Rod. to meet you. Nice to meet you. We've been chatting. We're old Wisconsinites. Right? Neighbors almost. Neighbors right? almost, yeah. <laughs> well, you bring an interesting message to our viewers here on Core Construction Pros in what you're doing. And you're doing what is the basic of this industry. And, and at least from my viewpoint, the problems that are associated with getting qualified, quality people involved in this construction business is just a big, big problem. How do you go about it? What do you do to recruit these young guys? Well, um, what happened uh, over the years, and you and I, when we went to school, they had tech ed classes Absolutely. in school. Um, they don't do that in a lot of places now. You know, when I was in high school, it was basic electricity, welding, woodworking, right? right? So you actually got the, the chance to see what that was like. Right. Um, a lot of schools don't have that anymore. And it's so, not encouraged. No, uh, you know, half that school would be great at this. You know, or half of the graduating class would be great at this type of, uh, but they've never had a chance to try it. Right. Right, so what our approach is, is you gotta reach out to all the school counselors because they all realize that all their kids can't go to college, but they'd like to, they would like them to. But I also told them, I said, you're not gonna get a new school built like you have right now if everybody goes to college. That's exactly right. <laughs> everybody goes to college, somebody's gotta build that. What thing. goes around comes around, does it exactly. not? Exactly, so reaching out to, to the, the school counselors and let them know about these opportunities, invite them out to the school to see what's going on, uh, and let them know. I mean, we just posted 52 jobs uh, yesterday on our career website. So 2,200 employees in the last three months have posted at wow. least one, possibly two to three job openings for their company on our website. Now, is this for you, and you're based in Wisconsin, is this for you just regional, or do these people come in from all over? We typically have students, uh, We'll start 40 to 60 of them every three weeks, and they'll typically be from 28 to 30 different states. And they really? look for jobs in all those spots. So our career service department, uh, we have jobs all over the country. Uh, and we posted a job for a crane operator in Diego Garcia, oh my right, in the middle of Indian Ocean. Right. So the opportunities to travel, right? These young right. kids need to realize that this is a great career and you could see something outside of your, own, your hometown. Absolutely. Well, one thing I noticed that was interesting to me from your promotional side of it is that, A, you go out and actively promote the schools to become involved, and then you go out and you promote the companies to become involved. And if you go to your this gentleman's website, ATS, uh, you'll notice that there are any number of the big manufacturers and, and, and the big equipment makers that are coming to you and saying, we need people trained. Uh, you know, the other side of, of the equipment people and us partnering up with equipment people and manufacturers is, is we'll R&D your products, right? We'll, uh, uh, you got some new technology. Part of reaching out to these young kids, they don't know about the technology that's involved in operating some of this equipment. Right. Right. They'll teach you how they to use your cell phone. They think it's a couple of sticks and stuff and that's it, but it's so much more in today's environment. Exactly, and, and, and the manufacturers could help, help this process by getting some of this technology in front of these future operators, right? So our, our philosophy is, is uh, if you want the next generation to operate your equipment, let them see it. Let them sit in it, let them, let them drive it around, show them the technology, because you can put an old guy in that machine and he sees all that electronic stuff start up, he's probably getting out. <laughs> that young kid that just taught you how to use your cell phone right, fully, right, right. he'll get a grasp on that technology a lot quicker than that old guy that's fighting it. Yeah, that's true. Right? And, that's and in order true. to get these young kids into it, it's gotta be technology. There's gotta be some technology involved to interest them. Well, it's very interesting. You bring a great message to this, and, and, and what you're doing, I think, at least is wonderful because you are reaching out and it's a constant sort of a drumbeat of a message to get involved and, and, and 
get out there, get to the schools, get to those, like you say, those guidance counselors. And I think you ought to be commended for that because there's a lot of schools that are just now getting started and they're not working with the entrepreneurs like yourself who have these companies going. Right. They're, uh, it's just endless the opportunities for them. Right. right? You know, it, uh, we were talking about kids in college, yeah. mine and yours. Uh, my daughter's going to be in debt when she gets out. Our students, uh, the veterans that we train, uh, the, the industry is screaming for veterans. You know, if they're going to run a, they're going to run million dollar tank. They sure in the heck can run your skip over. Right. Right. Uh, they're very responsible, and we're reaching out to the veterans, partly because the employers want them. Right. Uh, and I was as a veteran when I got out. Uh, I was in for six years. On my drive home, I had no idea what I was doing. Yeah. No idea what I was going to do. So we were trying to reach out to the transitioning uh, military that this is ideal for them. They can come out, you know, I think I was making a buck 25 an hour when I was in, Yeah. right? These guys uh, are gonna pay, would pay off any loan that they have. But GI Bill covers this kind of, of training right. and can get them right into the workforce, can yeah. get them into, you know, possibly six figures. I got students that are getting six figures two years after they're wow. out of school. Vets getting hired two days after they leave and have a pick from three, four different jobs. Well, you sure bring a heck of a message. It's been a pleasure meeting you. I'm happy to step by Dan Swigum, who is Associated Training Services, and they got a great website, by the way. If you want to access it, you want to find out, you got somebody you know who may become a good operator, these are the people to talk to and to get involved with. All of this from World of Concrete 2018.